Let's bring in News Nation correspondent Nancy Liu on the ground, trying to get answers, of course, and former FBI agent and News Nation law and justice correspondent Jennifer Coffin Daffer. Coffin Daffer, you and I will hear uh, how uh, Nancy can feed what we understand about this. Nancy, thank you for joining us. Who have you been talking to, and what do we now know that we didn't know? Well, Chris, law enforcement still not talking, but this is new. Sources are telling News Nation producer Allison Weiner that the evidence includes blood inside and outside of the women's car. And according to her information, the women were shot. What happened to them remains a mystery. I did get through to the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations today. They would not say much, but they did indicate that this investigation is progressing and they did reveal that other locations are being searched. They would not say where, they would not say why. But as you alluded to, the custody case may be at the heart of this investigation and this includes an eight-year-old son and a six-year-old daughter, Chris. Nancy, let me ask you one more thing. Uh, the idea, now I know that this isn't necessarily relevant legally, but in terms of reporting uh, and, and understanding the humanity of the situation, what do we know about the father and his family in terms of by reputation? Well, this is, like many custody cases, a very ugly custody case. There are a lot of accusations back and forth. Now, Veronica Butler, uh, she lost custody of the kids back in 2022 because she had been moving around. Uh, she wasn't able to hold a job. So Wrangler Cole Rickman got custody of the kids and then uh, he ran into legal trouble. So his mother has been caring for the two kids. Um, we understand that due to uh, the court, custody court documents indicate that the mother has mm -hmm. alleged abuse when the kids were with Veronica. Early on, Veronica had claimed the kids were abused when they were with Wrangler. So it's Sadly. been a back and forth, a lot of accusations and a very mm -hmm. messy custody case. Nancy, I appreciate it, and uh, good on you for mentioning your producer, Allison Weiner, who's one of the best reporters in the business. I've known her a long time, but uh, much respect to you for giving her uh, that name check. Good for you. So, Jennifer Coffendaffer, what do you make of uh, the advance of understanding blood inside, blood outside, and that that may have been uh, gunshot-related? Oh, it's, it's critical. It's what we believe to have happened because there weren't clues in and around the scene in terms of them being in that vehicle anymore. And once we knew there were signs of foul play, we figured it must be blood. But the big key to me is this information about being shot. And that makes so much sense when we're talking about bringing the FBI in. Because when you bring the FBI in, you bring in the ballistics, you bring in the lab capabilities, you bring in all the people that can help in terms of fingerprint analysis and DNA analysis that is going to be critical in a case like this. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.